Well, what a fascinating train ride through the Alps of Switzerland, virtually here at the World Driving Market in London. Who am I sat next to? I'm going to find out now. Hi, what's your name? My name is Alex Hermann. And what I'm, are you doing here? I'm the director of uh, Switzerland Tourism for the UK and for Western Europe. Hey, big boy. <laughs> so, I mean, this is fascinating. Fabulous. I'm so glad you is, enjoyed it. One of the main attractions it. here on your stand. This is definitely the main attraction yeah, yeah. because you, you actually get an amazing view, um, 360 degree view. You do, <laughs> it's incredible. Of some of the most um, scenic train rides in Switzerland, which happen to be very, very popular in the UK and in many markets around the world. And the snow is wonderful, we love snow. Well, I do anyway, because my family name is Blizzard, so. <laughs> <laughs> I love Got that. You. So, what's your main messaging here this year? So, the Swiss trains are obviously something that, as I mentioned, are very, very popular in this market. The main message of this is actually that there's not just the Glacier Express, which is or Blizzard Express, as you <laughs> maybe call it, Thank you. which is the most popular ones, but there's many of these train rides crisscrossing the Alps um, that uh, are amazing in the winter and in the summer. So it's really something that you can do year-round yeah. and that you can do all across Switzerland. And there's one or two that are very famous, but there's many others of these train rides between two to eight hours that is just an amazing way to um, uh, to see the Swiss countryside. I'm interested to find out about trends. So has there been any significant trends over the last 12 months in terms of overland travel? For us, it's always been a very important yeah. means of transportation, but it's become extremely popular, obviously, with the whole sustainability movement because it's the most sustainable way to travel. Yeah. And it's also, in Switzerland, we have the advantage that most of the electricity of these trains, and they're all electric, comes from hydroelectric power Hydro, so it's 100% uh, sustainable yeah. okay. to travel through Switzerland right, like, yeah. like this. So early days here at London uh, World Travel Market, what's been the reaction so far? What have you been hearing? People, what, what are people asking you about? This is a question that we get a lot about sustainability, what are you doing? Then there's a big question about um, year-round travel, this is also something that we, we push very much. In some markets we're very famous as a winter destination, as ski yeah. destinations, in others we're very famous as a summer destination, but we indeed are a year-round destination. That's something that we try to push here. And I know this is a big topic in yeah, the industry right. right now. How can we get people away from the high seasons into the low, in the, into the off-season? And this is something we're very much focusing on. Well, I love the winter time in Switzerland. I remember going there many years ago and climbing Jungfrau over the Christmas period. Fantastic, bright sunlight coming down. Suntan lotion, so important. It's the it's best time to, to do that actually <laughs> in the winter because it's a completely different experience to go to the highest altitude train station in Switzerland in the winter than in the summer. Well, great talking to you here at London, World Travel Market. Where are we heading for now, as I put my, my special spectacles on? How about you going to an area that you might not know yet? For example, the Italian-speaking part of Switzerland, the Ticino. Okay. See some palm trees. You saw All the right. glaciers now. Your name is Blizzard. Maybe you should see the palm trees. Okay, let's go. Let's go off to Italy on this virtual tour here at the London uh, Travel, World Travel Market. I'm Phil Blizzard with Alex from the Switzerland Tourism Office for this region.